place has to be over two years old. And we have to have police cooperation. Leah's case fits that profile perfectly. So Chief Daniels flies to meet the VDOC Society in person. To an overworked, overtaxed community who's suffered a terrible tragedy, what do they bring to those folks? Very simple, hope. Bill Fleischer is a former federal agent for the FBI in Customs, specializing in the lie detector. At least four polygraphs were given in Leah's case. The soul of the group is forensic artist Frank Bender, who learned his craft molding the faces of the long-gone cold case suspects at the county morgue, sculpting the dead. A friend of mine worked at the Philadelphia Medical Examiner's office, and he said, Frank, watch some autopsies there. You can learn something about anatomy. Was that a good idea? And then there is the dark side of the trio, the thin man, Richard Walter. Piano playing, chain smoking, psychological profiler who spent years as a prison psychologist collecting firsthand the creepy inside details of murder from the killers themselves. This case turns to the men and women of the Vidoc Society, named after Eugene Francois Vidoc, the father of modern criminology, Napoleon's chief detective practicing police science 100 years before the FBI or Scotland Yard were even formed. We have an organization of pro bono crime fighters who believe passionately in good and evil and in being on the right side of it. Best-selling crime writer Michael Capuzzo just finished a book called The Murder Room on these volunteer Sherlock Holmes, led by three friends who hate to see a murderer get away. <laughs> 